Hi, this is Kelly and I'm on beautiful Jacksonville Beach and this YouTube is entitled Where Do I Get My Protein From? And it's dedicated to my son Mike who's an incredible bodybuilder, a brick house I'd say, but he uses animal protein and I wanted to show him my world and a plant protein, what that would look like. It's going to be really fun because I spent the whole morning shopping in a natural food store for every type of raw protein imaginable. And this YouTube is going to be filled with a list of them that you can grab based on your intuition, what your body's craving. The whole idea of a raw food diet is, is a variety, introducing all kinds of different enzymes and minerals and enjoying it. What is protein? Protein is an assembly of amino acids, 20. And the difference between animal protein and plant protein, the basic difference is animal protein usually you cook. So when you cook it, what happens is you're cooking 50% of the protein out. It gets coagulated. And 70% of the nutrients are destroyed. And all, it has no enzymes. Cooked food has no enzymes. So there you go. The plant-based diet is live, vibrant, packed with enzymes, packed with nutrients. I mean, basically, uh, as you eat the diet, your, your mind changes, your brain changes, you feel clarity and focused and creative and you're happy, your thoughts are different. You actually begin to love yourself, which is something most of us haven't been doing because our brains are so full of toxins in our cells. I kind of look at the body like my kingdom and my brain is the king and I have to take care of all the people in my kingdom, which are the cells. Come see what I have for you. I drink a pound of leaves a day. That's around 15 grams of protein in the leaves. This is kale, and this is 15 grams of protein right here that I'm holding. And then I mix it with about a half a container of this fresh squeezed orange juice, and that's eight grams of protein. So that's a total of... <laughs> 23! Why can't I? Obviously, it hasn't made me smarter. 20, <laughs> You're under, under pressure. I'm, I'm under trying pressure. to think about it all. Okay, so here we have our pound of dandelions, which I'm going, so I'm going to always alternate my leaves every single day because of the alkaloids. The alkaloids are a teeny tiny toxin, which is why the animals graze. I keep telling you guys that. You have to rotate your greens. Even if you're cooking them, you should rotate your greens. Um, so this is my favorite, my new favorite right now, because my body didn't have a lot of dandelions in life, so every time I drink this, woohoo! And bok choy has a ton of protein. This is my pound of bok choy, and this is my new one. I love this. Oh my gosh, this is watercress, and look, they're selling it in the, in the soil. I love this. This is an incredible high, because I've never had this, so the whole idea about the rocket diet is you're giving your body enzymes that it's never had, and it just, it goes mad. And then, of course, a pound of um, Italian parsley. But this one, I never drink by itself like this. I'll, I'll probably mix it. And also, remember, you want to mix your family of greens. So, you'll be, this is a different family than the kale. So you have to look up your families. I'll post the families under this and the list of leaves based on the families and their family names, you know. They have their own family tree. So this is another thing David and I do. It just saves time. We keep things simple. We buy the fresh squeezed orange juice. We look for a good deal and we buy it unprocessed if possible. This one is, um, let's see, cold, cold squeezed, cold squeezed, as if, as if you could hot squeeze orange juice. Cold squeeze. They squeezed it while they were cold. All right. Woohoo. So I'm probably going to make it a drink right now just to show you. Okay. We'll do my favorite dandelions. Let me get the dandelion smoothie that I make every morning. This is my pound of dandelions, all washed in a little bit of apple cider vinegar and ready to go. I have my fresh squeezed orange juice in my bag of mix. And I basically just cut thick part of the stems off of the dandelions and pretty much that's the amount I put in to get started. Oops. Okay, we have finished the entire pound of dandelions and 
Here's a trick I do. I pour it back into the original container after we've had our amount for the morning breakfast and then we sip on the rest of this all day. So we have a giant amount in the morning. David and I split it. And then uh, it's, it's going to be something to sip on. Keep it up, refrigerator. Good morning from Jacksonville Beach. It's 6 o'clock in the morning and I've emptied our refrigerator out to show you what an urban raw food is going to be grabbing for the day. And this will give you a great idea of what to shop for. Basically, we've already blended up a pound of leaves. We had dandelions and OJ and we finished it off. We have one glass left. And this is how we start our day. With different leaves, we rotate them. And also we are going to have a snack of two bananas and two spoonfuls of raw almond butter. That is a legume, a bean, and that is an incredible way to start your morning. Uh, replace your muscle protein bars with a couple of organic bananas and raw almond butter, and that's going to take you through the morning and not give your glucose a spike from all the sugar and preservatives and toxins in those muscle bars um, or those protein bars. I love to remember this as eight grams of protein. I usually have two avocados a day, sometimes even three. Um, also, I'm going to put links to what I'm going to do with the um, chia seeds and what I'm going to do with the hemp seeds. And also, I'm going to make a sprouted and a warmed up version of quinoa so that you have two choices because low, we don't want to miss out on one that Jacksonville uh, Jaguars know. And then I'm going to sprout, start sprouting and I'm going to have a blast. I'm even going to make cauliflower popcorn and I'm going to continue to find wild greens which make me so excited to blend. Drink your pound of greens a day and uh, give it a shot. It's easier to go 100% raw than to go back and forth because when you eat cooked food while you're trying the raw food diet, your mind just goes constantly to the cooked food. I just want the cooked food because that's what you have been programmed for as a habit. Once you do the raw food diet for about 60 days, your old habits are broken. We're going to have so much fun with, we're going to do the uh, chia dance, and then the gabanzo dance, and then the head, you know, this sounds like something that, you know, us, uh, right? Aren't we the baby boomers? <laughs> we, didn't we, like, didn't we start with that, and now we're back to it? Yeah. All right, well, you know how much fun we're going to have. One of the staples in David and my raw food diet life is raw nuts. And today I collected an array of the raw nuts we like in the amount that I would eat in a day. So this is about the amount, a good full two handfuls. And this is Brazilian nuts. And this is sunflower seeds. I guess they're not really nuts. And then uh, raw walnuts, raw cashews, whoops, here's the amount of raw walnuts, huge two handfuls, raw pistachios. Some raw pecans. And raw almonds. And here is a bag of dried trail mix. This is very popular for David and I when we first went on the raw food diet. Okay, this is going to be really fun. I'm going to take you on some of my raw food meals and give you the protein count. This is one of my favorite, avocado, crackers, and salsa. I have it often, I love it. I just cut up an avocado, squeeze some lemon on it, and an avocado, one full avocado is eight grams of protein. That's quite a lot, and some days I just cut them open and scoop it out with a spoon and have two in a row. And flaxseed crackers, these two flaxseed crackers, 
one ounce is two grams of protein. And then I have my fresh salsa. It's a full tomato, jalapeno, onions, lemon, cilantro. Absolutely amazing. I'll zoom the camera in. Here we go. Here's a close-up of the guacamole and flaxseed cracker. And our amazing homemade salsa. It is nothing more exciting than ants on a log, especially if you're a child. We have two um, spoonfuls of raw almond butter and that's seven grams of protein right there. And this is probably the same amount I put on my bananas around three o'clock. I have two bananas with uh, raw almond butter and I'll show you that. We'll do that as well. But I'll spread this. It's a whole stock of celery and it's a half a gram of protein. And uh, I'll probably be putting two, uh, 11 raisins is, 11 raisins is a gram of protein, and you'll eat a lot more than 11 raisins. So we'll add a couple grams of protein there. So this could be easily um, 11 or 12 grams of protein. And delicious and healthy. And remember, you're not wasting any of your protein. It's all getting stored and saved and utilized correctly. Make sure that when you order your, or pick up your raw almond butter, that it's raw. Make sure it has the word raw on it, because there's a ton of choices now, and you don't want your legumes cooked. You want them raw. So this is kind of expensive, but this is gonna last a while. You know, I, you have to have this large one, and you have to spend sometimes up to $17 for this, but it is so good for you and healthy. And then make sure your raisins are organic because, you know, they're the grapes, they're grapes shrunk. You don't want all that pesticides with all this work we're doing to clean out and detox our cells, to make our brain clear. You don't want to now put any dried fruit or grapes or berries with pesticides. Make sure it says organic. And remember, the number one food for your brain is blueberries. And it's amazing for your brain. But the number one most dangerous thing for your brain is blueberries but non-organic blueberries, the ones with pesticides, because they go straight to your brain and start collecting plaque of pesticides, which turns into toxin and causes all kinds of problems. I also wash my celery in apple cider vinegar, a couple caps in a big bowl of water, all my produce and leaves. So make sure you have one of these. Woo all right, now I'll, I'll, I'll actually design one right here for display. So I have an ant on a log. One of my favorite easy snacks. Anybody can do this. You just wash a stock of celery and you stroke some <laughs> raw almond butter on it and give it a few organic ants, and this is awesome. Yay! I think my husband's coming over to have this one right now. Yes. Are you coming over to get this yes, one? Yeah, thank you very much. It's great. Uh, Remember to eat that celery, you know? I mean, that seaweed. Yes. <laughs> and going to seaweed and ants in a log. <laughs> See, these are a big hit. Everybody loves healthy food. Just make it, you know, the simpler the better, too. This is something we have all the time around the house. Blueberries I love. When I, I no longer crave uh, like chocolate or sweets anymore or dessert or chocolate chip cookies and brownies, the things I used to crave when I was on the regular American diet. Um, when I'm craving something like, like that in that genre, this is what I crave now. I pick goji berries. The last close-up peek at some of the labels. Coconut water, flaxseed oil, raw organic cauliflower for the popcorn we're gonna make. And go. Here's some dates if you're craving sweets. Here's a to-go package of almond butter to put in your briefcase. A bunch of nuts that are all raw. And then we need lots and lots of greens, leafy greens. There you go, here's a bunch of stuff for a salad, um, which we're going to use those tubs of pre-washed greens. Right here, here's the salad dressing I use. This is what I wash my produce with. And these look amazing, absolutely amazing. And we're going to make 
a chocolate mousse with this avocado, um, raw cashews, and some coconut water. That's going to taste mind-blowing. That's recipes from Jason Mraz, the singer. And make sure your raisins are organic. Find some organic. There you go. Have a great day. Hit subscribe and like and follow me. We're going to have an adventure with food and life.